will shortly be arriving at Manchester Piccadilly. If you are leaving the train, please make sure you take all your personal belongings with you. This is Manchester Piccadilly Station. Since I was in the UK anyway, I thought I could meet up with Andrea Joseph. She is so nice to drive up to Manchester from where she lives to meet me. And Andrea is a teacher in seeing and um, she does amazing things with um, just simple ballpoint pens and all kinds of other pens. And since we all love pens and love new art tools, um, I'll be meeting her and we'll talk a little bit about pens and art tools and other fun stuff to, um, to play with. Um, so yeah, I'll go find her uh, to see what, what we can sketch and draw and talk about. Welcome to sunny Manchester. like paradise here. <laughs> we love that. Me too. I have one at home actually. I haven't cracked it open yet. Yeah. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I just come in and look at everything. Put them on a, a list in my head. <laughs> like this. Mm -hmm. Pants. Inks. Pencils. Brushes. Paint, paint. Lots of paint. So, what are we looking for? This one, I need some of those. It is a rotoring pen, the sketching pen. Um, this is the EF sketch. Oh, yeah, All right. That's the only sketch um, one, and then there's lettering ones and calligraphy ones. Is that all right? I'll just shove it back. No, it's fine, thanks. Thank you. So you're actually known for your biro sketches, <laughs> of course. And uh, that's what we'll see you doing in the course called Seeing. But someone gave you yeah, a, gave a sketching me pen, like sketching a um, rotating art pet sketching pen. And it's my newest obsession. Um, well, it's just getting back to using fountain pens, which I haven't used for oh, since I was probably a teenager. And I loved them then. And so just rediscovering them. And this one's really good because the ink, um, once you put some water with it, makes some lovely effects. Um, it's not water fast, but uh, it gives some really nice effects, which hopefully I'll show you. So, uh, does it have cartridges? Can you, can yeah. you uh, just change the cartridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the little cartridges. Yeah, okay, so you can put anything in there. Yeah, and probably and you're if to you. Keep three in there too. So you've always got another, you've ah, always got spare. Very smart. But the only problem is that your hands are forever black. <laughs> so um, let's draw with those. Yeah. This is where we will be. Sketching. Hi. Yeah, you're all clocked in there, ladies. Thank you. Thank really. you. 
Okay, so tell me about this place because you pay for the time you're here, right? Yeah. So everything is free. All the coffees, tea, cereals, cakes, whatever you want. And you just pay per minute at the end. So you can spend as much time as you want. It's a good place to hang out. Lots of people come to work here, bringing our laptops. Those bird cage cages are uh, your subject to draw. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to draw today. I've drawn them once before and wasn't really that happy with it. So I've come back to tackle it again with my new pens. So you've got a little snack. You've got the new pens. Mm -hmm. We've got actually a lot of pens. So I think, um, I mean, these are all, these pens that I'm using here are really different from what I use in the course. This is this new pen that we've just bought. There's the new version, um, which is like a fountain pen. It's got the cartridges and that. It's really messy. So I've gone from messy ballpoint pens and having my hands pretty much blue all the time to having them black all the time. This is the kind of thing I got with this these ah. pens. Yeah. So, um, and, and this is this kind of thing. So, and again. So it's pretty quick. I also love at the moment, totally different from the ballpoint and the precision that I would get with that, this uh, Pentel brush pen. And again, some really lovely effects with that very different marks I'm making from in the course. And then, of course, these markers, these are aqua markers, so also for most of this stuff I'm using brush pen, a water brush pen as well. It's really different. Um, I just love experimenting and also really pushing myself and um, wanted something to do, always trying to do something different, learn new things. And um, the, the ballpoint pen and that kind of precision and very laboured work and the cross hatching. I still do as these days as work, <laughs> as work. when I get illustration jobs. Um, that's kind of the stuff people want, and I understand that, and I love doing it still. And it's it takes it takes me to a different place, kind of that um, way of drawing, really cut, really being with the drawing for a long time. But then when I'm in my spare time, or when I'm not drawing for work, what I love doing now is finding out how to use new things and that is how I've come about using all these different pens. Last time I was here I did this drawing and I wasn't really pleased with it. I like parts of it, I like some of this stuff. Um, and for this I was using this brush pen then. But I hadn't discovered this at that point. And now when I look at this and look at the subject matter especially, I feel that, that needs ink. So I'm going to kind of redraw it all um, using <coughs> these new pens. So I'm gonna draw things in quite loosely and roughly. Again, something really different for me is this fast drawing, or very different from when I began drawing and what I became known for, and um, being so quick, really. I just find it really exciting to see what you can do and um, when you work in this way. Because really I don't know what the results are going to be like. I think with my other work now, I can already see in my head what the drawing will look like. Mm -hmm. And know what I want to get from the drawing. 
so this is just a totally opposite way of uh, working. And the reason I've really gone back to this, these fountain pens is I've been looking recently again at a lot of the illustrators that I absolutely loved as a child and I loved all that Ron Arthur work and loved that intensity of ink and just with a pen and maybe a little water brush the different textures and the different lines and things you can get from it and um, that's the intensity of the ink that's what I really like so yeah that's I think part of this whole thing is going back and rediscovering or really trying to do some of that stuff myself now I'm looking at the subject but it's um, more of a, a, a response to the subject as opposed to an exact interpretation. So just putting a little bit of water on. And I just love this. Love the colours. The... And then... Put your pen back on and get these places that where the ink bleeds. And so while it's still wet, you get back in with yeah. your with your pen and just pick out some little details. Mm -hmm. So here it's kind of patterns. Maybe if you want bigger. I, I would never even consider that I'm any sort of expert in using these. But this is the point, this is all the fun of just playing around with um, tools, different different things. It just totally all feels like play. It's so exciting. I know we still never really tackled, haven't as yet tackled um, watercolour or paints and, and so I, I love the fact that I still have all that to discover. Um, it's nice to just play and make, yeah, make a mess. And that's what I hope, you know, by by continuing to learn and play, um, that I just get better and better at everything I can. I might just stop with that a second, and um, when it's a bit drier, put in some detail. So I'm just sort of picking out a few little details. I don't want to get go over the top with that like I possibly would have in the past, but I don't want to get too um, obsessed with it. Just little parts here and there. So just little um, the ends of lines maybe, or oh, a little curl here and there. Where the, it's a bit dull kind of like in some areas or it's just picking out some lines to that dull I can't really think of the word but that dull must make some nice background to some um, these lines and it's just about mark making and finding the patterns in things. Playful I think yeah is the word that I would use about this whole approach. Just love those patches and inky loveliness. <laughs> I think always the most interesting thing about, you know, 
the drawing for me is the little details and picking out just something or sometimes all it needs is just one little detail. I really love the little bird here. Probably one of the reasons for making the, the drawing. Maybe these are aqua markers from Letrosa. But that's probably a bit dark, but normally I'd use the water pen with those. Just a tiny touch of anything. Just to finish, this so the little bird is dried now and I kind of like the smudginess of that. Don't need to put much detail on there. So possibly just a tiny little beak or maybe an eye. Always like to finish it with the name. Faithful mess. Ha, ha, ha.